Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Sabbath Prep Friday where basically I surrender something that is probably just getting on my nerves, something that I've been dealing with for a long time that is not right, doesn't serve me. Um, so stay tuned so you'll find out what I'm surrendering. It's okay, my name is Shirley Rollins for those of you who do not know. And I am a founder of Shula Ministries Entertainment and Associates Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous and we support anyone desiring to overcome anything. We do it with Jesus Christ being our higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our holiness, our forgiveness, our sanctification, our next level, our joy, our happiness, the things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Christ. Our completeness, we become whole in Jesus. Not with another person, but in Jesus only do we become whole. So, okay, so um, look at the description, which is the arrow next to the title, and I'll have information near me about Sabbath prep Fridays. It's biblical. Um, you might remember it where it talks about where, you know, they were crucifying Jesus and, um, you know, he was on the cross and he had already passed. And they were saying basically that um, they wanted to take him down because, take him down off the cross because the next day was the Sabbath and the day before was Friday. It was prep, preparation Friday. It was Sabbath prep Friday. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I'll leave the that information, a couple of texts. I think it's two or three texts that I have. So basically it's time to like prepare, prepare for the Sabbath, which I look at as like a date with God, Christ, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Not that we don't have a date with from any other time, but this is a special date where we come away and we leave out everything else and focus on him. And it's really a wonderful, wonderful time. So, okay. So on the Sabbath prayer Friday, usually I just basically prepare for that date in the same way that you would probably prepare if you were having a date with a person you know what I mean you prepare your clothes if you're fixing food you fix food and you know that kind of thing because on a date you just want to enjoy the person so it's the same thing we do all those things and prepare to spend this time with Christ and then we just enjoy him we do enjoy through his word through the, you know we have through the scriptures through music through one another, through testimonies, that kind of thing. You can you can make the Sabbath joyous any way that you want. But anyhow, that's not my topic. So, before I get go further, I just want to say um, thank you so much for everything that you've done and helping making my um, channel grow and um, you know helping me get the information out there for viewing for comment and even subscribe and just everything that you do just thank you thank you thank you thank you i really really appreciate you and thank you for viewing um encouraging people to to view it the channel and everything just thank you so to the meat of what i'm supposed to be talking about what am i surrendering you know years ago i used to say there's no need for god like making me sick. You know, sometimes people, you know, are sick with various diseases and stuff. And, um, you know, they, it just seems like it's not getting them down. They always have good attitude and stuff like that. I always said, it ain't no need of God. God ain't going to make me sick or nothing like that because he wouldn't get no glory out of it because I'm such a complainer. I would just complain just the whole time. I would just make everybody miserable with me being sick. And so anyway, I had a kind of like a change of heart about that today. I was watching this video and on this video, this woman had had a stroke and after having a stroke, well, she's a married lady. After having a stroke, it was a whole lot that she could not do. Um, she basically maybe had to learn how to walk and how to talk and just how to, a lot of things. Her husband hung in there with her, which was really a great thing. But do you know that through Christ, she was able to embrace her new normal 
and to still live a joyous and happy life. She had a baby afterwards. You know, her and her husband was, you know, still happily married, even though it was a new normal for both of them as a couple. You know, um, they were in it for the long haul. So, so basically why that became important to me is that she said something that was very, very um, important. It was like profound. That's the word I'm looking for, profound. And so what she basically said was that, in a nutshell, I'm not going to repeat what she said like verbatim, but what she basically said was that, in every predicament in this life where we find ourselves, it is a place to work out kind of like your joy, your happiness, and to give God glory. And basically it was like, what she was saying, it was like, no matter how negative it is, past, present, whatever the situation is, we all have a platform. And on a platform that is called our life, we need to find a way to give God glory in the midst of it. Like no matter how negative it is. And so when I thought about that, it's like, when I think about all the negative things that has happened in my life, it's helped me to grow. It's helped me to know, like, for example, to know what I will want to do and what I don't want to do. Okay. Um, if I did a particular thing and it was wrong, you know, and it didn't make me feel good, nothing came good out of it. It kind of like helped me like not to do it again and make a decision to not do that thing again. So the thing that I want to surrender is basically the negative attitude about adverse situations in my life and just basically surrender them to God. Because the, the thing that helps me is to know that if something comes my way, God has allowed it. He knew about it way before it happened. He knew it was going to happen. And he deemed that whatever it is that is happening for my good. I don't care what it is. It's happened for my good. And so that's kind of comforting when I look at it and say, okay, God has allowed this thing for a reason. I don't know what the reason is all the time. I don't know how long, you know, this situation may impact my life. Okay. But God's allowed it. That's the first thing. God's allowed it. The second thing is all things work together for good. Now, that's a text right there that could really get on your nerves. I'm saying because when you think about all the bad things that happens, accidents, rape, killings, sickness, or whatever, what this is all the negative stuff. It happens for my good. Really? One person's death. Fifty people may come and give their life to the Lord. And they can say, at this person's funeral, gave my life to the Lord. Now we can never say that it was good that a person died because that's just not good. But what good came out of it. And so it's just causing me to relax. The thing I realized too is that a lot of times when bad things happen, it has little or anything to do with us. Like I almost got hit by a truck the other day, remember? 
I did what I was supposed to do. I found myself in a predicament where I could have been hit. That didn't have anything to do with me. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't move. I didn't get hit. And I don't want to get into the story. But had I gotten hit, that wasn't that, that had something to do with the guy. That had nothing to do with me. I was only impacted by what he did. You know? So in looking at it like that, it's like we can't let things alter who we are or alter the relationship that we have with God because of it. We have to be willing to keep our relationships with God no matter what and to find a way to give him glory where we are. Now, before now, I would be saying to myself, like the, maybe the little person inside me, shit, well, shit, you got a nerve. That's like so hypocritical. You're such a complainer. You're such a, you could be so negative sometimes. Yeah. And I think that that's why I want to surrender that because this week it's like Satan gave me a run for my money, you know, like with the negativity in my mind and stuff. And the thing that um, is helping me to turn the page on all of it is that he did that when I was younger. He would have me think a certain way and, and can't act somebody is the true. Just basically ruminating, you know, just basically going over like it in my head, like noise in my head. It's negative. And so um, that's when I'm surrendering, like, get out of here. Go, go. And just trust that. I want to trust that anything that happens, right, wrong, or indifferent, is happening for my good. And God allowed it. God, God, my creator, my father, and allowed it. So, comment down below if you join me on these Fridays in surrendering something. So just pray for me. So I'm just looking for my life to be so much better as a result of like letting that negativity go. All right. I love you. See you tomorrow. It's tomorrow on a Sabbath, you know, and another YouTube. Now that to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.